What is up guys, welcome back to another episode on Plants vs Zombies, Gone of Warfare 2 and for this episode I decided to could guess it said goodbye my lover and I was just wanted to say that uh, this is gonna be a Rose gameplay. Um, the Rose character on this game has been very very overpowered, I'm sorry for the background noise, um, but the Rose has been very overpowered because of his homing shot and all that bullshit. I've talked about it in previous episodes but uh, there is going to be a maintenance on the game, so uh, people suspect that uh, the Rose is going to be nerfed uh, with all the other tweaks that is going to be happening in this game. So that's why I'm bringing out this gameplay, just you know, to have that last view of the Rose before uh, we end up not seeing it again in this normal state. Uh, let me, I don't, I'm not shooting any shots uh, at the moment, but let me find someone. Now as you see I shoot, I charge up my shot and whenever I uh, let it go, it, uh, it, it gives a nice, you know, a, a spiral kind of fire thing. But it's actually very, very, very strong. It has 70 damage on it and whenever uh, the white thing in the middle is red, it will, ma it will make sure that it will hit the dark target. It, it will go directly to my target and it will hit it 100%. So that's why this uh, character is overpower. I can just shoot whenever, where, where, wherever I want. I'm sorry, guys. Um, and I just shoot it, and it hits it, and I get vanquishes. That's it. Look at me. I'm already on the uh, six vanquish streak, and I haven't played like two minutes into the game. So I'm just here uh, firing shots from distance. I don't need to be up close to get kills. Look at that. Did you see that homie on that? So I just fire some shots. I get the most out of my kills. Now I've actually noticed that if, well, if the patch doesn't uh, nerf the the rose and you're still you're still frustrated while playing against the rose, um, I suggest you using a scientist. I know I don't know why, but whenever I use a scientist against a rose, I tend to kill a lot of them. So that really, you know, it really helps out. I don't know why. I don't know if that's uh, uh, built in to, into the game that the, uh, the rose has a weakness, but uh, I've uh, I've become very successful with the scientist whenever I'm trying to kill a rose. You know, you can get up real close and uh, you can kill them pretty easily if you have a uh, if a nice scientist. Although a scientist can uh, a rose can always stun you whenever you're a scientist, but uh, I don't. I haven't uh, come against it that it was that successful and I know they, they stunned me before but whenever you get close and you get stunned by the rose you're still able to shoot and whenever uh, you shoot from close range with a scientist it's always like a 40 or 50 damage uh, so it doesn't you know you don't feel it that hard that you're okay you feel that you're stunned because you can't use any abilities but if you're still able to shoot from close up the scientist will still do most of the damage that it would do normally uh, the only difference is you're standing still now that's something you should be able to live with uh, whenever you can still shoot and do a lot of damage. Uh, you don't have to turn around uh, that quickly because you just have to shoot one, just have to shoot two times uh, probably from up close and you'll get the kill anyway. Now going into this next area, um, also the thing I wanted to say because I just saw a little imp uh, walking around there, uh, I'm very very I'm very sorry, I can say, uh, for the imp because an imp against a fire rose is, uh, you know, it's the worst matchup. Look at that, an imp. Okay, very fun. Walk around like you want. It's a kill. Every time you shoot or you're able to shoot an imp, it's an insta kill. I don't know if I'm hitting that one. Look at that, insta kill. Did you see the homing on that? There was so much swirl on that. Look at that. He tried to kill me. Do no, uh, the no gravity bomb on me, but. It's not, it's not even close to working, so I do feel pretty sorry for that. I'm, I'm pick, picking up kills left, right, and center. Uh, I'm just trying to, you know, aim for the, the little imps because they're so easy to kill with the fire rose. Uh, it's, it's not, it's not even normal. It's, it's just, I'm just standing. I haven't been that close to an opponent uh, unless it was a scientist that warped to me. But I'm, I'm most of the times just like um, a couple of meters away from it. Man. Now the, uh, there was a mech coming up uh, against us, and I got 25 health. So, you use if you use this form, you can't get damaged. So I use this form to get out of the, out of the, uh, you know the. Um, I don't I don't know what the f 
I want to say, but out of the, you know, the, the area that is dangerous, the danger zone, let's call it that. But whenever you see that you get damaged way too quickly, yeah, you just tap a triangle, a triangle or I don't know what button this is why on the Xbox, and you just get out of there. And it's an easy, it's an easy, uh, it's an easy way to get out of the danger zone, as we called it. So that's what what I'm doing uh, the past uh, this game. Just you know, just keeping my distance, just shooting. Uh, I got 23 kill streaks, so as you can notice, I'm not dying. So um, most of the time, like 90% of my games, I don't die the whole game just because I keep my distance. And none of the none of these zombie characters are really a distance kind of guy. Oh, so that's a scientist. Oh, we almost got me. I only got eight. Oh, I got. Oh, I got killed with a distance uh, scientist. So that. So that's uh, you know, he, he done a good job. Uh, he kind of stole my freaking vanquish streak. So now I'm back to zero. Let's get a bit of revenge on that guy. Oh, there's no gravity here, so we're keeping on floating. Let's see if we can kill that super brains there, because he's causing a lot of troubles. Stop throwing around, please. I shouldn't be standing up in these stuff because I'm an easy target. Ooh, look at all these zombies there. Can I goatify them? I can turn some into goat. So I, actually, I, this game I haven't even used this, uh, the abilities that much. But the Rose is able to stun an opponent. Uh, let me see if I can get. Look, I do. Did I get him? I don't, I don't know. How I get him, but. I was in the I was in the danger zone, so that's what something I don't have to do, or I'm not supposed to do because uh, that makes me pretty weak. Uh, the fire rose uh, doesn't have that many chance. If two or three people or zombies start shooting you, you're probably almost instant dead. So that's something you uh, you should try not to do, and that is going into these close uh, close range fights. Um, as we get into the last. Uh, last part of the game. Uh, this is something special. After every turf takeover oh, gameplay, uh, you have to do some special stuff. And um, I thought this is the this is kind of a, a funny game mode. Uh, not not a game mode, but it's kind of a funny part of the game. So you actually you have to play play some football. So uh, people that uh, watch these videos and know me in real life uh, know that I'm uh, I've been playing football my whole life. Uh, but I had to quit with it because my uh, my education. But now because of this uh, this game, I can uh, I can just continue playing playing soccer or playing football. I I uh, I should probably say football. No one says soccer anymore. I'm getting shot from in the back by a scientist. Why not? I told you that scientists are are my kryptonite in this game. Whenever I'm playing as Rose, oh, he's gonna revive me. That's pretty nice. Thank. you. Uh, what the? So he let go of the freaking circle button. I don't know why he did that. Probably because he thought it was ready. But it wasn't, so now I'm not revived and gotta get back to the walk. Let's see if we can help pushing up this ball. There were three roses here, so that's pretty dominant. Uh, normally, nothing should get past this. Uh, we're actually winning this, are we? Yeah, the plans have scored, so it's 2 to 1, I, I guess. Yeah, it is 2 to 1, so. Let's finish off some more guys. I'm more of the anchor guy that kills the people around the objective. Uh, I don't really do like the basic shit. I don't walk around with the ball. That's just uh, not my cup of tea. I just like to kill people. Oh shit, he's, he's following me. Oh, I got helped by my teammate, but an all-star still picked me up. Uh, that pretty sucks. Uh, as you can see, when I spawn, spawn right here, in the top left corner, uh, this is the last prestige. I'm on that. I'm on that rainbow crystal bullshit. And whenever I get that last stroke of XP to get to the level 10, uh, this is my, my character that I maxed out. Then uh, that will mean that the fire rose is the max level, and I got the most out of it. So that means we're gonna move on to the next character. So that's pretty, pretty dope. And that's it. That's what I told you guys. This guy is now my level. Let me freaking. Oh damn, he smashed my head in. What is that beard, dude? It has a rainbow beard. That's pretty nice. That orange mustache and that color, colorful be beard. Now, in this game mode, I don't know if there's a score limit. Because it's 5-1, uh, almost 5-1. 
uh, as we probably finish off the last kill and our last goal. But uh, is there no no score limit? Does this keep on going? Let's help out the team and just push this ball in. Let me get that. Come on, go to that side. No, wrong side, bro. Well, we're gonna get the double goal. Go, go balls. We actually wrecked up a, a lot of points there. I think we got three balls in there. Straight off the bat. That's pretty cool. It is 9 of 1, so if there's a score limit, it should have been 5 or 10. Uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe you keep going for the re remaining of the time. The plants have scored, so no, there is no score limit, I guess, because it's already 10. Uh, the zombies are trying to score there. Can we stop them? We probably cannot. Or we can, but they're pushing it the wrong way, so let's push this ball out of, out of our goal. Play that defensive objective role. Pick up some more kills. A lot of balls spawning here. Ball. Let's push them a bit out of... Oh shit, they keep going. Uh, what the... What happened? Oh, so it's the end of the game, so... Uh, so I showed you, or I showcased the Fire Rose for this episode. This is the, probably the most OP uh, character at the moment. Uh, Tuesday night at 10 p.m. I guess it is. Uh, there's going to be a maintenance, so we actually hope that uh, this will be nerfed. Or I I'm enjoying playing with it, but I know once you play against any plants team, you'll come up against Fire Roses, and it's impossible to win uh, against, so I'm pretty happy that uh, it's going to be patched uh, anytime soon. Uh, so this will be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed that bit of gameplay with the Fire Rose. Uh, I've been the most dominant player um, in this freaking game with the Fire Rose. Believe me, I, I haven't... I have way too much kills with that guy. Let me open up one pack uh, for you guys uh, before we finish off this episode. So we got nothing special in there. Uh, I got all the character pieces, but that's it. Let me leave up this game and... I'll thank you guys for watching, leave a like if you like this video, subscribe if you want to see more Plants vs Zombies, Black Ops 3 or FIFA 16, and I'll see you guys later, bye bye.